Hi everybody, today you are going to make a story using Puppet Pals. Puppet Pals is located in the Creativity folder. It's the one in the middle with the blue director's chair. Okay, you start out on the home screen at the bottom. You can see on the bottom right it says press to start. First you have to choose your characters. On the top here it says choose up to eight actors or characters. Okay, so you scroll down and you can choose whichever characters you want. Remember, you're thinking about either a fairy tale or a scary story. I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to choose all these characters right here. Oh, it says eight characters are already selected. This means that somebody else must have selected some characters before. So I need to scroll down and see which ones are already selected. Oh, I don't want those. So I'm going to unselect those. Let's get rid of those. Oh, I don't want zombies. But you can see that you can select. We've got lots of fun characters to choose from. All right, I'm just going to stick with my same old fairy tale one. And I'm only going to choose um, these seven characters. And then right here, you go to Next. And now you choose backdrops or the setting. It says choose up to five backdrops. And I see one is already selected. So I'm going to go and unselect. Well, actually, I want this one. I want this one and this one. I'm just going to choose. Ooh, that one's good. If you're doing a scary story, you might want that dark forest. So I'll select those four. But as you can see, we've got lots to choose from, so be creative. Okay, then when you're done, again, you're going to go to the Next button. And here's our set, our stage. You can move your characters around. You can pinch your characters to make them bigger or smaller with your pinching fingers. Okay, let's have a small fairy godmother. You can also double click your characters to turn them from one side to the other. All right. So there you have your different characters. They're ready to go. And up here you have these golden tassels, and these are your different sets. All right. I'm going to start out with this castle scene, and I'm going to put my my princess over here and my knight over here. Princess is a little too big. Okay. So get them all situated where you want them to be. Now, as you start telling your story, your story will only take place around this border. Okay, so all these people who are waiting out here, they're not going to be seen yet. You can change that if you want to by moving this uh, slider bar. See that? So if I wanted to have it like this, I could. But I kind of like doing it like this because then I can see all my characters. They're waiting to go on later. All right, now the important thing here is the record button. And I want you to notice when I press record that there's going to be a stop and a pause. So it's very important. If you press stop, then that means you're done with the whole story. But if you press pause, then you can just pause and then keep going with your story. So you want to press pause. All right, so here I go. I'm going to press. So remember to move your characters as you talk. That's always uh, easier for people to know who is who. All right, so here I go. I'm going to start my story. Princess, there's a mean dragon in the forest. Oh no, we must protect the castle. Okay, so now I'm going to press pause, which is right here, not stop, because stop is when you want to stop the whole story. I'm going to press pause right here, and then it's waiting for me. Now I can switch sceneries. Okay, I'm going to get rid of my princess. Let's put the guy over here and this dragon. Turn him around. Remember, double tap to turn him around. 
and uh, that's good. Now I'm going to continue on with my story, so I'm going to press record now that I have everything set up and I'm going to continue. Dragon, I've come to slay you. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, that's because uh, I didn't press it on my iPad. Here I go. Dragon, I've come to slay you. Oh, please don't slay me. I promise I'll be good from now on. All right, then I'm going to keep you prisoner in the castle. Come with me. Okay, so I press pause again, and now I'm going to set up my scene. Let's see, I want this forest. Okay, so you get the idea. So I'm not going to go through my whole story, um, but when you're done with your story, then you're going to press the stop button right here. Well, okay, let's, let's do the whole story. I must slay you, dragon, because you're being so mean. Please, please don't slay me. Brung, hello. You don't need to slay this dragon because I can turn him into something much nicer. Oh, yes, please do that. Abracadabra. Okay, now I've paused, and I'm going to move my dragon out, and I'm going to put a crow there, and then press record again and keep going. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to turn him into. Let's try that again. Abracadabra. Okay. Let's turn this guy around. Oh, that's much better. Now you have a nice squirrel. Thank you, fairy godmother. Okay, and I pressed pause again, and I'm going to go back to the castle. And I'm going to get rid of her. Put him like this. Put my princess back. Princess! We turned the dragon into the squirrel. Isn't that great? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Prince. Oh, can I live in the castle now? Sure. Oh, thank you. Mm. The end. Okay, so now I'm done, and I'm going to press my stop button. And then you can play it back if you want. Or, more importantly, you have to save it. And then after you save, you can also play it back. So let's do the saving right here. This is save. And how are we going to save it? Of course, you're going to put your class... Let me see, let's do three for third grade. If you're in fourth grade, you need to do a four. Let's do M for McBride, and then your name. And then you're going to press the red save button. And it says, success, your show has been saved. Would you like to view it? And you can view it, or I'm going to say no right now, because you can view it later. Okay, so now I'm going to go back here and keep going back, back, and here we have saved shows. So when I go in here, I can see all the different shows that have been saved, and right here it says play, so I can play it from here. Okay, I won't, oh yeah, you guys want to hear it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to press pause, which is right here, not stop. <laughs> stop Great, I got that. Stop the whole story. I'm going to press pause right here. Dragon, I've come to slay you. Oh, please don't slay me. I promise I'll be good from now on. All right, then I'm going to keep you prisoner in the castle. Come with me. I must slay you, dragon, because you're being so mean. Please, please don't slay me. Brun, hello. You don't need to slay this dragon because I can turn him into something much nicer. Oh, yes, please do that. Abracadabra. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to turn him into. Let's try that again. Abracadabra. Oh, that's much better. Now you have a nice squirrel. Thank you, fairy godmother. Princess, we turned the dragon into the squirrel. Isn't that great? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Prince. Oh, can I live in the castle now? Sure. Oh, thank you. The end. Okay, that's awesome. So you're all done, and then you can go on to free choice time.